Wait a minute. We are no longer cavemen. We do have technology. Anyways, welcome back everyone to another episode of the Iron Man Challenge with Project Zomboid and we have officially moved on into the Iron Age. Yeah, it's pretty epic. And in order to prepare myself for that, I think we ought to pay a visit to a big old uh, spot right up here. The, the warehouse where we can get a bunch of supplies. But before that, but before that, I think we need a bit of an outfit change. We are no longer cavemen, okay? We have a full on forge setup going, a house with, you know, ample amounts of uh, goodies in it. So yeah, what we're going to be making is some new clothing for us, aka a nice tunic, which we need thread, a needle, and some fabric for, which we can get pretty easily. So before we go ahead and do that, we should go wash ourselves off just a little bit to make sure we are all clean and ready to, uh, to change our outfit. There we go. I think the first thing we have to update is definitely the boots. So let's go grab these leather strips from our bag, turn them into leather, and make ourselves some medieval boots. Bada bam, we got a new set of shoes now. Check out them bad boys, but that ain't it. Up next, I think we ought to make ourselves some pants. Some rust pants, which we need fabric for. And in order to make fabric, we need two sheets, one thread, and a needle, which we can do very easily. Thankfully, I did decide to take some ripped sheets with me, so it's going to be very easy to make. Check it out. Two sheets, turning that into a fabric roll. And with that fabric, we can go ahead and make ourselves some pants. Boom! <laughs> oh, yeah, we're moving on up now. I don't think we stop there. I think we continue right on ahead, making even more sheets, more thread in order to make more fabric. Up next is going to be the corset shirt. Ah, yeah, there we go. And uh, in order to finish things off, we of course need a tunic. Though I kind of want a, uh, a colored tunic, you know? I think we've earned that much. So we're going to go ahead and make some dye pots, which we can do with our uh, pot that we have. Which requires three red berries, one mortar and pestle, and a cooking pot with water. Okay, that that's easy. Coming up first, mortar and pestle. Bam. Up next, three berries, which might be pretty hard to get. But we can go ahead and check our compost pile, which has none that we need. But that's fine, because we can go ahead and search for berries in our foraging menu, which shouldn't take that long at all. We're, we're basically a pro when it comes to berries, so I, I see no problem with it. All I need is three, and I'll be a happy man. Wow, there's a lot of stuff other than berries in here, that's for sure. And uh, it might be fall, so we might not be able to get berries anymore which would be pretty damn sad. Come on. Nope, we still got berries. Not the kind we need, but I'll take them. Ooh, olives as well. A lot of olives. Update, I did not find any berries and the berries I did find are not the type I need. But we did get ourselves some olives, which we can go ahead and eat right now. That's pretty delicious and it'll suffice for breakfast. We also have ourselves a few more critters we could eat up for later. Also, let me go drop off our other clothing in that corner there. I'll do a bit more inventory management when I have the time. I think we ought to go fishing for the rest of our day today. And by morning, we'll be out bright and early to look for some red berries or blueberries. Uh, I could go for either or. Ooh, an old box. Hold on here. Whoa, ooh, loot box. Yo, check it out. We got ourselves a medium hook packet. And not only that, we have ourselves a walleye. Oh my gosh. There's fishing loot boxes now? Hell yeah. Well, we got a nice little packet just in case if I need it for later. I really need to manage my inventory a little bit better, huh? Anyways, back to fishing. That was That's really cool, though. Well, it is the morning. Welcome back, and we have ourselves quite the catch for Din Din today. We're also boiling up some water, but more importantly, we're cooking up some trout, which um, are actually very unhealthy for me, but we can go ahead and cut those bad boys into fillets after they're done cooking. Yes! 
fresh cooked crab. What a good day. What a fantastic day it is today. It's one of those berry picking days if you ask me. Anyways, bada bam, we got our fish. Let's go slice these bad boys up so they're not as depressing. And have ourselves some high calorie dense fish food. 13 bits of goodness. Okay, we're stuffed. I'm ready. Let's go find some more things now. By things, I mean berries. I would really like some berries right about now. Oh, free onion. That's another level of foraging. That gives us an even higher chance of finding a single stack of red berries, please. Come on, I know you want to give it to me. Never mind, all they gave me was a zombie. That's fine. Easy as. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, you're supposed to die with that one, ma'am. All right, what about this one? What about this one? Oh my god, she's just eating all my arrows, ma'am. Could you stop that, please? You're scaring me. You're scaring Grug. Die. Finally. And you broke my freaking... They took three damn arrows. What were... What are you made of? Well, uh... You know, that's... I guess XP for me. Go take apart the arrow and rebuild another. Thankfully, it's not that hard to remake them. Back to the berry grind. <gasps> blueberries. Okay. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll take. I'll take blueberries. I, I would much have rather preferred red. Grug is more of like a red type of person, cause you know, red mean faster. But I'll, I'll take a blue. I'll take. I'll take a cool blue. Sophisticated, cool, clean cut blue. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to stick around here for too long. Let's go ahead back while foraging, just in case, and go ahead and craft ourselves some uh, some dye. I just also realized we could craft up a nice soup. Ooh, ooh wee, that, that might be pretty good. I think we, yeah, 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 yeah. We're sophisticated now, we can make actual meals. But before that, I need to make dye. So let's go grab our mortar and pestle, mix it with that cooking pot to make a pot of blue dye. Boom. Wow, didn't even use up all my berries. Sucks I won't ever eat these because they're poisonous, but I'll keep them around for the dye. Okay, we got the dye pot now. Let's go make ourselves a couple of sheets for the fabric. Warming up this dye pot so we can properly use it. Bada bam, dye fabric blue. We got that. And we can make ourselves a nice blue tunic. Ah, oh, yeah! Wow, look at me! Oh, I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. And I'm not even done there. Okay, I'm done with the blue dye, though. We don't need that anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and make us a nice hearty stew for the challenge ahead. This will be uh this will be like a morning breakfast type of deal, you know? But yeah, let's go warm up the water. Mmm. Add in some river crab, add in some pepper, and some onion. River crab and onion soup. What a good day to be grug. Let's go cook this bad boy up. Oh yeah. This is it. Mm. <laughs> I think we ought to drink it while it's hot. I mean, come on. Just drink that grug soup up. I I can't I can't believe we're actually in the Iron Age. You know, th this 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 confirms it. We have actual clothing. We have a smithing furnace. The only thing we're missing is medieval weaponry, which I can make in the future. So while this fire is still going, I'm going to go ahead and boil some more water. And I'm going to show you what my next goal is going to be. Of course, leveling up my smithing would be nice. But on top of that, we can go ahead and make ourselves some swords, medieval weaponry. You know, some of the good stuff, which is all going to be behind this book. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day sitting next to my fire, reading my books, and I will see you in the morning to when we make it over to the Metal Zone. That's where the fun begins, all right? I'll see y'all then. Grug is completely unbothered by recent events.
Well, it's early morning. I thought I'd might as well go ahead and cook up some food while I'm waiting, you know, for, for the trip ahead, of course. Uh, the weather's been terrible, but because Grug is an outdoorsman, it shouldn't bother him all too much. I just wanted to pack up, you know, a tiny bit of food for the for the long road ahead. It, it's good to have some rations, and I think we ought to have some right now. Delicious. I don't really want to head out while it's nighttime, so I'm going to wait just a tiny bit longer. Hopefully the weather will get better and we can leave then and go off on our little trip. <laughs> Grug don't really like this weather, but I know one thing's for sure. Filbert is flourishing. Anyways, I think it's about time we move. We're currently soaking wet. We're a bit hungry, but we have a few bits of food to, you know, chomp on on the way. Uh, the, the, the quicker we get out of the storm, the better it is going to be for me. So my first step before I head over completely I think we're going to go ahead and set up at this little workshop here. I think that'll be a really good impromptu base. And then we can rest up until the storm is over and then slowly sneak our way over to the warehouses, warehouses, warehouses. It's as good as planned as I'm going to get. Ooh, I got to say, the storm ambiance is something else, though. That thunder is just booming. Woo hoo hoo. Listen to that. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and mark this down on my map because I can dismantle this, uh, this vehicle later for metal parts should I get the propane torch today. So I'm going to mark this with a nice little trash can symbol right in the middle. There we go. So I know exactly what's going on. We're about halfway there to the nearest shelter, so we're making pretty good time. And would you look at that? We finally made it over. This will be a nice little spot for us to uh, rest up for a bit. Oh, I need the rest. And while I'm inside, I can actually showcase you what I am working towards with uh, my whole goal for metalworking. I read the smithing manual while it was still raining out. So if we make our way over to metalworking, you can see we can assemble arming swords, daggers, War axes, messers, hooks, spears, Iberian maces, hammers. All we gotta do is up our metalworking and cast ourselves an anvil. This is gonna take quite a while to do, but it should be well worth it. Oh yeah, can you feel it in the air? Uh, I'm gonna wait till this storm is over before I even contemplate heading out so i'm just gonna go ahead and dismantle some stuff around here you know work up our carpentry xp just like that we can make ourselves doors finally that's pretty exciting isn't it yeah doors are pretty rad the best benefit of all though is the extra nails we get on top of it i'll be taking these doorknobs and door hinges for later for now i kind of want to maintain a light load as light as i can <laughs> at least it's it's good it's good it's gonna be a while from now so yeah I guess we can go ahead and clean this place up a bit, maybe find something nice while we are waiting. Honestly, I'm doing this just for more food, and hopefully, in the morning, it will be nice enough out for us to, uh, you know, get a move on. We survived yet another day. I did a little bit of foraging, removed some of the vegetation around here, and we have ourselves quite the bit of food. I don't think we need to worry about anything other than weight loss. Of course, I'm going to be dropping off all the berries and mushrooms that will probably get myself killed. I'll go ahead and eat like the violets and grape leaves first, and then we're going to go ahead and start to butcher up all these squirrels and rats for snacks later. Let's, actually, let's just go ahead and do that now. Oh, yeah. Meat's back on the menu. We also have ourselves a cherry, some cilantro. I really wish I would have brought my uh, cooking pot with us because we could have we could have did a lot here. But yeah, this is kind of like a nice little base away from home. It, it, it's a good checkpoint for us is what I will say. So let's go drop off everything that we can cook up. Light up this fire with my bow drill. Come on, Grug. You've done this countless times before. You should be a pro at this. Please... Just one fire. Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna get stumped by this, huh? A single fire? 
Oh, come on. One fire is all I ask for. There we go. Okay. I had to make a couple extra sturdy sticks for that, but that's, you know, extra fuel for later. And now we can go ahead, sit down, cook up all the insects. The insects are going to be very much needed for winter time. Those are actually going to be the only things I can eat during winter. So having them right now is fantastic. Oh, we even got ourselves some eggs. What a good day, huh? Ooh, yeah, and four bits of road at me. Lightweight, but very filling. Let's go eat our fish filet. Better hot. Let's warm it up. Just like that. Boom. Full the bursting. A little bit exerted. We'll rest up and we're going to be ready to make the trek through the woods. Yeah, it's time. Come on, Grug. You should be a little bit more excited. I sure am not. I, <laughs> despite me liking the woods so much, cutting through this is going to be a little bit fishy, but we can follow the roads up to this corner here and then we can cut in right through. Yeah, I like that. Let's get going. Don't mind me. I'm still gushing over Grug's new outfit. I love it. I love it to bits and it just it just feels. Oh, wow. That's a lot of zombies, huh? Anyways, like I was saying, I really like Grug's new outfit. It, it really suits him, I feel. OK, wow. These guys are tough, huh? Not as tough as a stick, though. <laughs> yeah, eat it, idiot. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> I've been around my fair share of zombies. Now, the question is if we should continue up this way or if I should instead double back around and head up this way, which is objectively going to be more quiet. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go back the other way around. Screw that. Looks like someone failed the Iron Man challenge. As I expected, it is much clearer this way than it was anywhere else. There is a small little wreck up here, which I am going to mark because uh, I'm going to need to learn the location of these scrap cars. Another trash can for that. Anything inside this spot before I uh, mark it for death? It's locked. Well, keep your secrets then. I, could, I don't care. You're scrapped to me at the end of the day. So let's see here. Yep, this corner right here is where we shoot into the woods that way. I hope this goes well. Uh, high vegetation areas with, you know, potential zombies around the area usually never does, but it's it's the best. It's the best one we got. Also, another junk vehicle right here. Well, into the woods, I guess. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. Well, wow, actually, the woods up here are very nice and clear. I like this. I really like the fall colors as well. Um, not as condensed as I thought it would be, which is definitely a benefit for me because I can just swerve right in between these bad boys like I've been here for my whole life, which I have been. D d I've actually been here my whole life. We should be just about halfway there. And might I say it's smooth sailing. Check this out. So much so I might get a little bit of foraging in. I mean, why not? The more resources, the better, and there are no zombies for miles out here. Oh, never mind. There are some zombies here now. That is a wrestler? That's scary business. I'm going to go ahead and take up my bow and arrow for that one. Don't worry, I can sneak up right behind her, and she won't expect a thing. Boink! Ha, 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 ha. Uh, I love this bow so very much so. And there it is right up there. The warehouses, warehouses, warehomes. Is... Oh, we just got to fight a horde. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's okay. One wrestler, a bunch of tough zombies. I can take them. One for the eyes, two for the nose. Give me back those arrows. I need to reuse these things as I shoot you. Okay, you have to understand. This is a very dire situation. I don't have a lot of arrows, so the quicker this gets done. Oh, gosh. The better. Ah. Yeah, that's right. I'm a melee brawler as well. You thought I was just a ranger class? Hell no. I got, I got dual specializations. Boosh. Boosh. Yeah, okay. Two more. Give me back my arrows while you're at it. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Whether you like it or not, I'm taking this place over. Oh, that was supposed to kill you, but, you know, that's fine. The second shot usually does the trick. And then, there was one. 
God dang it. Ah, oh, you're making my life so much harder than it needs to be. There we go. With this horde taken care of, I think this would be a better time than ever to end this episode. I think next time we're gonna go, you know, hop inside these warehouses and see what the hell they got. Hopefully, finding a propane torch in the process. Anyways, if you guys have liked Grug's adventures so far, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see y'all in the next one. Have a damn good day. Peace out.